Now, if you're a day trader, especially a Forex trader that has any sort of social media presence, I'm sure you've seen the My Forex funds shut down or being frozen, this whole debacle that's happened over the course of the last day. And by the time you're watching this, maybe some more stuff has unfolded. So this is brand new. So I'm only working with the information that I have. But today I wanna to talk about what's going on, a little bit of the public perception on it, how competitors are reacting to it, how certain folks are reacting to it. I think it's interesting to see, as well as my take on prop firms and my take on just the overall situation that's happening. So at first, if you guys haven't seen this, if you go on my Forex Funds website, what you guys will see is this. It says, traders, yesterday we learned that without prior notice or discussion, a provincial security, a regulator in Canada and the commodities regulator in the United States issued orders preventing us from trading securities or accessing funds in our bank accounts. Until these freeze orders are lifted or modified, our business is effectively or at least temporarily frozen as well. We'll be reaching out to the regulators to discuss their concerns and the first court date to determine whether the freeze order should be lifted or modified is currently scheduled for September 11 in the US while others hearing other hearings later in the same week in Canada. We hope to have this matter resolved as soon as possible. We'll update this message as events occur. So first and foremost, I, I do wanna be uh, very cognizant and sort of careful with my words because somebody might be listening to this and they might be invested in my Forex funds and I'm sorry. And obviously this is not a video to say, oh my gosh, it's we're all doomed, this is all doomed. First of all, what I wanted to say is the prop firm by nature is a very interesting business. It's a very interesting business because it started with FTMO a long time ago and it's sort of sporadically spread to where you don't know who you're dealing with. There's so many prop firms. I've never used one, but I can't even keep track of the amount of prop firms. In fact, funny enough, if you guys look at this here, there's this guy who is utilizing this shutdown. He said, hey, I woke up this morning and my account was frozen due to the compliance issues. I worked hard to get that account, now it's done. Uh, I've joined Funded Next as an affiliate with his link. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if this doesn't describe how messed up the prop firm industry is, nothing will. Like you're saying within hours, of him admitting that it was shut down. He's like, hey guys, I found a new one. <laughs> so obviously people have no heart. Uh, they have no moral compass or no ethics and they probably don't do any due diligence or research on what they're doing business with. And I still don't understand why people use prop firms. What's the reason you use prop firms? You understand that generally speaking, you're being b-booked. It's not even real money. Your live account is not money. They are assuming you're gonna lose it and they're just enjoying those signup fees. It's a weird business, but I don't want to get into that rabbit hole. That's a whole different video. If you guys want to see that, I'll, I'm certainly willing to share my insight on that. But what I, I find interesting right now is what this could do to the prop firm conglomerate, I'll call it. Just this big, big shell of different prop firms because this is a US and Canada related scrutiny or so they say. Of course, online, you guys can also find people saying, that they're searching the website and they can't find any sort of reporting at all that this is even happening. Now, obviously there's just a hearing set for September 11, maybe there's nothing yet, but it is kind of odd that there's nothing, there's no statement, nothing right now to back that up. So I just wanna share that part. Now, what could this do? Well, first of all, in the US and Canada, for any other company that's uh, built out of the US or Canada, who knows, this might be, if this is actually true, and this is not just a massive rug pull, because we don't know at this point, this could be the domino. This could be the first, and they attack one of the biggest, from what I know and what I've researched, this is one of the biggest prop firms that there is. This could be that domino, and it's just gonna start to happen over and over and over again. On the flip side of the coin, you also have to think about public uh, trust and thoughts. You have to think about traders that are that are utilizing these prop firms. Like I'm sure somebody listening to this video, you're using a prop firm. And you have to think about the trust that they have. Will they stop or will they stop going and, and, and funding new accounts? Or will they stop trading on other? Will it start to become like a, a prop firm run per se? You know, like there's bank runs. Is there gonna be a prop firm run? Because people are like, hey, wait a minute. 
I don't really trust what I'm seeing right now. Again, this is all speculation and just my opinion. So I don't know if that's going to happen as well. And this is um, uh, some more stuff that I had kind of dug up this morning. I thought that this was interesting. Down here at the bottom, you know, this this is, first of all, they're directly from the My Forex Funds Twitter. They're not letting anybody reply. Same on Facebook. So as much as they're like, hey, we're here for you guys. Let us know if you need any help. They're kind of like shutting people. They're shutting it down. From, from what I've heard, rumor has it, their, their CEO has already deleted social medias. Like, yo, if this is what you say it is, why are we not allowing people to comment? Why are you not just saying, hey guys, we gotta wait till September 11? I thought it was great that they first came out. I was like, that's trustworthy, but it, then it's like, well, we're gonna tell you, but you can't, you can't talk about it. You can't respond. You're gonna have to talk about it on your own, which is why I'm making this video. And then of course, what else I found today is funny is uh, FTMO of course starts to throw their jabs in there. FTMO being one of the first uh, in 2015, as you can see really on the bottom there, based in the heart of Prague. Of course, what they're trying to do is tell everybody that they're not based in the US. They're almost sort of making fun of the situation, which of course I'm not trying to make light of the situation. So what's at stake right now? What's at stake right now is the funds of all of those traders. Now that it's frozen, shut down, they can't access anything, can't access the website. Their funds are effectively gone for now. They don't know if they'll ever get them back. So that's a massive hit. It, it, it creates a deteriorating trust in this industry. And again, I think that in my opinion, this is simply the start of a more regulated industry at large in terms of prop firms. Because prop firms are so new, it's only been around since 2015. We're talking eight years. They started after I started trading. I mean, we're talking, a very short period of time that prop firms have been around. And I think this is maybe the start of the domino effect. And again, what I wanna ask you and challenge you as you're listening is what is so special about a prop firm? At the end of the day, you're not trading real money. You're getting a profit share if they're gonna pay you out and don't get frozen. Why don't you trade with a regulated broker? If you're in the US, why aren't you trading with a max one to, uh, one to 50 leverage, which is the max allowed by a regulated broker in the United States? Why are you not doing that? What is so against that? Well, I have just a little bit of money. Okay, if you have a few hundred dollars, then have a few hundred dollars of your own money. If you have a few thousand dollars, have a few thousand dollars of your own money. At least you know it's safe. Now, I'm not gonna get into broker talk because I'm never gonna be one to tell you what broker to go to, or you're never gonna find an affiliate link for a broker around me because technically it's not legal. That's why it's ironic that people are making broker um, affiliate links on the internet. It's, 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 it's literally illegal. But with that said, I do wanna mention that uh, if they are doing that, you still have to do your due diligence. Don't trust the person just because they taught you how to trade or you, you like their stuff on the internet or however you know them. Don't trust them just because of that. Still, your due, still do your due diligence about the, uh, the broker or whatever you're using. So this is gonna be very interesting to watch unfold over the course of the coming months or maybe coming weeks. I'm gonna keep an eye out for September 11 just to see what comes about it. I mean, we'll see if suddenly it's just like, wait a second, nothing came about. They're just quiet. There's no updates. And remember last week I just researched, they had a 12% discount um, on, I believe it was the 27th, or maybe it was a little bit before that of August, 12% discount to get started. Let's wonder, had they not known, I get it, had they known this was coming, that's sketchy. We'll keep an eye on this. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Obviously, your thoughts below in the comments are always, are always welcomed, whether you agree with me or not, that doesn't matter. This is just my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll have a lot more videos coming out about this, but of course, a lot more videos coming about our free Forex indicator that we're allowing the entire public to use. So go check that out in the playlist below in the description and we'll see you in the next video.